To install the add-on, open add-on panel under Edit, Preferences and click Install. Locate the downloaded files. Based on your Blender version, install the proper one. The 4K texture pack is for texture painting afterward. The add-on itself has 2K preview version included. It is located on the right side of the panel. If your side panel is crowded with tabs, you can rename the tab name. By default, it uses RHG. You can rename it to modeling or any other names so that it will merge under one tab. Save the preferences setting and restart Blender to take effect. Let's import a head to start. The add-on use the pre-made shape keys to generate various head shapes. Each category is separated by the shape key prefix. When click randomize head. The script will pick one or more shape keys from each category and assign in weight value. Reset all shape keys will reset the head to original form. Invert all mute will turn each shape key's mute value to its opposite. This will come handy when define which shape to be taken into randomization and which one not. When you have a desired face, the new face from mix button will append it to the shape keys list which will appear under face template. Male hair and female hair toggle buttons will switch on or off the two pre-made hairstyles, making it easier for character visualization. Under viewport shading view, you can mix the skin tone between pale, yellow and dark. Finalize head will remove all shape keys and retain current shape in a new shape key. This step is necessary for appending AR kit blend shapes. Otherwise, you can delete them and do additional modifications. User has the option to define the range of random shape key value. Take face template shape keys for example, if set face 1 sliders to minimum and max to 1, and all rest to 0, it will only randomly pick one shape from face template category and set its shape key value to 1. All the rest are not taken into consideration. Reduce its minimum to 0.2. It will select one shape and set its value between 0.2 and 1. Now you get the idea, you can mix multiple shapes together. May it be two faces or three faces. If you don't want to take certain shapes into consideration, you can mute the shape keys. Likewise, you can use the invert mute button to only take those into consideration. Face part min and max will define the random range of each subcategories like eye, nose, mouth, etc. Emotion sliders control the emotion category. For age sliders, if set max at 1, it does not necessarily mean that it will use the old shape. Instead, it will randomly pick shape old or shape young and set a random value within range. Same concept for weight sliders, it will only pick one of the skinny shape or overweight shape and set to a value within defined range. Some category offer the option to use weight paint to mask certain geometry. Take the shape key old, for example. When set at 1, I might not want it to show at all areas. I will select the target shape key and click paint. Now I can remove the weight value to reduce the mesh deformation. Or invert it to only keep what I've painted. If you change your mind, you can clear the mask. Although the default shape key range is between 0 and 1. For some shapes, you can manually set it wider for exaggerated result. After you finalize the head, you can append 51A R kit blend shapes. The process takes 12 seconds or so. On my laptop, it would appear unresponsive, so please be patient while Blender does the job. The result should work for the most part, a few may require additional manual tweak. If some shape is accidentally deleted, you can re-append it. When you made a head you'd like to use in the future, select it and open source blend file. It will bring you to the source. Click Add to Source Shape Key. Add some description and choose a category. That is it. Previous blend file and source file are automatically saved in the meantime. Simply open recent file and continue working there. Unsubdivide function works best for all quad meshes as it gives predictable result. At the same time, the UV border is intact.
Default Blender Unsubdivide will mess up the UV. One thing to take note is that it respects the power of two. Each of the cube is subdivided into two, four, eight times. If you use the redo panel and change the cut, in this case a three by three face, the unsubdivide will not work. Finally, here are all the shape keys. Hope it will make your character creation a bit easier and faster.